Okay, I want to get you up to speed on the uh, Spacewalker build. Here's the wing assembly. Um, I'm gluing on one of the tips over here, and I'll get to that in a minute on what I exactly, uh, how I did it, that type of thing. Uh, but just to get you up to speed. Um, I put a, a little bit of glue on these ailerons just to, to see how they're going to work. I'm not too happy about the hinges I've used. Uh, they're just probably the best option that I could find out there. Uh, they're the Great Plains ones with the little holes in them, the small ones. And basically, the reason why I haven't been too happy with them is because if you notice going down, it's kind of it's kind of tight. Um, I don't think the other ones are going to go down more than that anyway. But I always like to have that extra throw available if if needs be. So, and basically, what I had to do is the hinges don't want to lay flat. What happens is they kind of like they stop like right there. So what you have to do is you have to dig in this area to throw this hinge back because before I had it on there and that, that was about as far as it'd go down about right there so I dug out the bottom here if you notice get a good view there the bottom there it's dug out more than the top part is there, there's a good angle of it so and I had to put a little backing right here so I had enough material anyway and that allowed the hinge to go down a little further so I don't know I, I, sh I will have to see. Hopefully when I cover it, I'll take it apart when I cover it. I just wanted to kind of see how it was going to go together. So, and I put this piece right here for the uh, horn. So that's basically what I did on the ailerons on both of them. So I just did the back plate and cut them down. Make sure you don't have them stick out too far. If you notice, this one's a little short, and that's where you want it. Yeah, I can't really see that, probably. Because when you sand this, it's going to be equal to that. So when you're cutting them and, and mounting them and everything you want them to be the exact same lengths so when you sand them there they stay together I haven't sanded any of my tips yet I'll wait till I can connect the wing together before I sand everything and make it look pretty um, before I do that though, I'm going to do these tips this is a chunk of balsa that I got a big chunk I can't even remember what size it was anyway took it over to band I marked it as you can see marked it like that cut it out with a bandsaw and then uh just glued them. Got it viced over there once this one dries. In fact, this one's probably, yeah, this one's pretty much dry. So I'll take this one off. My clamps are glued to it. There we go. Um, it shouldn't be too heavy. They're about a half, an, half an ounce per tip, so about an ounce for the entire wing. So now I can shape it. I'll take a sanding block or maybe even on the sanding wheel and and sand it make it look nice after I do the tips on both sides then I will connect them um, like this these are my carbon fiber rods and I just did two small ones I don't want to overkill it with a big rod going through the center of the, the wing um, not too heavy of a plane so these two little ones should be just fine I think they're about seven and a half inches I think so there you have it that's kind of what it's going to look like um, so you can kind of see that. A little bit of dihedral. Uh, here's the flaps or the ailerons. So that's about it. Oh, and then after I sand it all down, put the tips on, sand everything down, make it look nice, then I'll cut this out right here and put the servo. And then the servo will actuate the wire going to down here to the horns. So anyway, there you have it. There's the uh, Spacewalker wing. Um, I think it's turning out. We'll have to see how it goes.